Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Things. We're all very excited for Frozen 2 to premiere on November 22nd, 2019. In the meantime, though, we thought we'd bring you a Frozen theory that will have you rushing back to rewatch the Disney classic. Be sure to watch until the end because we'll be giving you the craziest little details that tie together this Frozen theory. Do you think you could show us the way? Yeah, why? How does this work? Ow! Stop it, Sven. Try and focus here. Yeah, why? We know that all of you are pretty big fans of Elsa, Anna, and pretty much all of the lovable characters that join them in their crazy adventure. There's Olaf, the sweet and loving snowman that was magically brought to life by Elsa. Kristoff, a charming and silly ice harvester who, who Anna runs into while she's searching for her sister. Finally, who could forget Sven, the reindeer who definitely played his part in helping the sisters make it through their icy journey. In today's video, we'd like to focus on some characters whose backstories were kept a mystery by the Disney filmmakers. Big summer blowout. Backstory on Hans For starters, we've got the antagonist of the movie, Hans of the Southern Isle. According to the first movie, Hans is only interested in getting Princess Anna to fall in love with him in order to get access to the throne of Arendelle. Hans is first introduced to the audience as one of the princes of the Southern Isle. He's the royal representative of his country that was sent to attend Queen Elsa's coronation. Princess Anna accidentally finds herself colliding into his horse during the beginning of the film and gets knocked onto a boat. This is when we first see Hans use his charming smile and good looks to seduce the princess. His smile looks totally genuine, and this isn't the only sweet gesture we see. During the coronation, he can be spotted sweetly waving to Anna from the crowd. He later joins the princess for a ballroom-style waltz after coincidentally bumping into her again. The two seem to immediately hit it off, and Anna opened up to him about her relationship with Elsa and how she wishes they could be friends again like when they were younger. Being the sweet prince that Hans supposedly was. He then promised to never shut her out before the pair broke into song. Now we hope you guys have been paying close attention to these details because here is another one that is crucial to our theory about the character. I just can't. The sky's awake. So I'm awake. So we have to play. Why Hans is a good guy When Anna and Hans go to ask for Elsa's blessing, the duo's plans are halted when Elsa refuses to let Anna marry her newfound lover. Convinced that Hans must have ulterior motives, Elsa orders him to leave. This leads to a confrontation between the two sisters and Elsa ultimately exposing herself and her powers. This shocked everybody in town, including Hans who clearly had no idea that Elsa had any powers to begin with. When Anna decides to go after her sister, Hans Hans even agrees to stay behind to watch after the city and the people of Arendelle. He's seen distributing free blankets to the public and even setting up food lines in the palace. This is some pretty sweet and thoughtful behavior for a man with evil intentions. Not only does he do these things despite criticism from the Duke of Wesselton, but he also defends Anna while she's away. When the Duke insinuates that Anna and her sister may be plotting against their own town and people, Hans responds furiously, calling the claims treason. And I will not hesitate to protect Arendelle from treason. Treason? Hans only ever agrees to leave when he believes Anna is in danger since her horse returns to the town without her. Now with all of these details we found, Hans is either a total evil mastermind or a pawn in someone else's game. Hans working against his own plans We know what you guys are thinking, he's probably just an evil mastermind who was able to fool us all with his great acting skills, but here is why this might not be true. For starters, he's constantly working against his own plans. Hans and his men eventually run into Elsa instead of Anna. This is where he saves Elsa's life by getting in the way of a bolt headed her way. This would actually have been a perfect moment for him to secure his place as Anna's husband and therefore King of Arendelle through their marriage. Trolls Theory with that being said, we can think of a group who might just be responsible for Han's sudden change of heart. We're talking about the trolls. The trolls are a group of creatures that live in the Valley of the Living Rock. Elsa and Anna first run into them as kids, in a scene where they're both taken there by their parents. Anna is accidentally hurt by Elsa's magic while they're playing together, and so the king decides that the trolls might be able to help. These creatures clearly have a history with the royal family since they're even spotted in the book. In this book, we see an ancient relative of the family that looks as though he'd been placed under a curse. There's also a troll standing above him and clearly trying to extract the magic from his body. 
Now, keeping this in mind, the only people who clearly have the ability to change minds, and maybe even hearts, are in fact the trolls. If you don't think that's possible, just remember that these are the same creatures who were able to remove years of Anna's memories. Once she was cured, she had no recollection of Elsa's powers whatsoever. Despite being depicted as adorable and bubbly characters, the trolls also seem a lot darker and suspicious on the page of the king's book. The page of the book tells a dark story and gives us an awfully wicked vibe instead of a helpful one. Just looking at this page, it's hard to believe that the trolls are there to help the king instead of hurt him. For those of you who still don't think these guys could be evil, here's another motive you won't be able to deny. Fixer Upper Scene In the scene where the trolls sing the catchy tune, Fixer Upper, we see that they're pretty determined to set up their adopted son, Kristoff, with Princess Anna. They sing about how her engagement is a flex arrangement and that all they need to do is get the fiancé out of the way. If these guys had such great intentions, Tensions, wouldn't they have just found a way to cure Elsa and possibly show her how to control her powers? Instead, they compare her powers to a curse and speak about how dangerous she's going to be. This is probably not the best way to help out a scared child and could definitely explain all of the trauma that eventually drove the sisters apart. They also erased all of her sister Anna's memories, doing the pair's relationship a lot more harm than good. So do we think it's possible that Hans is innocent and was being controlled by the trolls the entire time? But we've decided to dig a little further to get to the truth. But you won't get your new sled if she's dead. Sometimes I really don't like you. Hans Family Theory There's also a lot of evidence that points towards the theory that Hans could in fact just belong to a family that mistreats him and pretty much forced him into trying to deceive the two princesses of Arendelle. It is said that Hans apparently had an incredibly rough childhood and suffered a considerable amount of neglect at the hands of his family. It is the result of this upbringing that totally could have driven him to be manipulative and obsessed with powers. In order to prove his worth and earn the affection of his family, Hans may have decided to put his morals on hold and fake his love for Princess Anna. Now, don't get us wrong, we aren't saying that we don't stand behind what we said before. Hans definitely looked genuine during this time with Anna at the beginning of the movie. Not to mention the lyrics to Love is an Open Door that both he and Anna were able to come up with on the spot. These lyrics included phrases like, it's crazy we finish each other's sandwiches. That would definitely be a lot harder to come up with if he had to fake his feelings at the same time too. Not to mention that he was, in fact, finishing Anna's sentences, which only adds to our theory that Hans was being genuine the entire time, and may have been under the influence of somebody or something else. If Hans actually grew up in a horrible and wicked family, then his motives would make sense according to the Frozen timeline. Hans and Anna's relationship starts off incredibly romantic and genuinely convincing. But what could have happened if it wasn't the pesky trolls and their possibly evil magic? Well, if we look at the root of Hans's problems, we know that they stem from a lack of love in his life. So what moment in Frozen could have been a turning point? Well, if we had to guess, we would say the moment falls somewhere around the time he started gaining the trust and love of the people of Arendelle. To jog your guys' memory, he did this through ensuring that they were taken care of during the endless winter that Elsa started. We can't help but feel that it was this newfound love and admiration that Hans felt in the moment that left him longing for more. This would make sense, but not totally explain his evil actions. After all, Hans could have still maintained his plans by kissing Princess Anna and eventually ruling by her side. The only explanation we can think of which makes Hans's sudden change of heart make sense includes a mix of both Hans's family and the trolls. He's brought a girl! Trolls and Family Theory in all the movies that include magic and spells, we usually find the characters more able to be controlled when their morals are weakened and they're feeling vulnerable. If we're right and Hans was starting to enjoy the power and respect that came with the love of the people of Arendelle, then perhaps it was in this moment that the trolls were able to control Hans and his emotions. During the trolls' fixer-upper scene, the trolls seemed to be using some magic, even if it was just for show. Anna even ended up fainting. If you're a real Frozen fan, then you may have realized that Hans's intention still seemed pure and genuine right up until the moment that their faces were close enough to touch. Could this just be a coincidence, or could it be that the trolls used Anna as a messenger for their magic? This would make sense and totally fulfill their intentions of getting the fiancé out of the way. We don't know about you guys, but the timeline seems to be a little too perfect to leave us convinced that this was just a coincidence and not in fact planned by Disney's Frozen creators. We're totally rooting for a possible explanation that confirms our theory 
and Frozen 2, since Hans is confirmed to be coming back for an appearance. A fun fact to know about the Frozen franchise is that the story is based on an original tale by writer Hans Christian Andersen. Considering this fact, we just can't imagine why the Frozen writers would decide to name the antagonist of the movie after the writer of the original version. In Andersen's rendition of the film, the trolls actually had a mystical magic mirror that was said to make your eyes and heart dark. It would make it so that you could only see the darker side of things and only feel ugly and dark emotions. Emotions that don't include love and empathy. As for what the actual directors of the film had to say about this theory, they've apparently gone on record to say that just isn't true. They claim that the trolls were meant to be lovable characters with no evil backstory, and even give the fans that came up with the theory credit for being so imaginative. This could be the case, but could also be a way to prepare us for a total plot twist in Frozen 2. We want to know what you think. Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed getting to see these Disney characters from a totally different perspective. Maybe Hans really isn't so bad after all. Do you honor take Kristoff to be your troll fully wedded? Wait, what? You're getting married. And that's the end of our video. Be sure to subscribe to The Things and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.